Today I'm showing you how I make a cup and saucer. I'm going to make a cappuccino cup. I want it to be a little rounded, a little heavy to retain heat, not too wide at the top so it doesn't spill, and a saucer to catch any spills if it should happen. So let's get started with a cup. I've prepared 350 grams of clay and I'm centering the clay. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter if this cup is a little heavy, the extra weight will help retain warmth. This cup is definitely going to have a handle. So making a cup itself is not a tricky process. However, one thing I have noticed is that handles can be a bit of a struggle at first. I'll show you some ways of getting over this. So now I'm just opening up and bringing the walls up. So I've made sure that the inside of my pot has a bit of a rounded base. And I'm going to give my cup a curve that matches this base. Now I'm just smoothing and refining the shape. So as you can guess, I'm not making a huge coffee cup here. It really is a small size cup. And now I'm ready to trim a little around the base. Just make sure that the shape is right. And now I can wire through. So now I set the cup aside and I start making the saucer. So I center the clay and then I push the clay out almost to the final size of the saucer and push down into the middle of the saucer, bring some clay out to the rim and then I can make a well in the middle of the saucer Refine the shape of the rim a bit. Consider that the size of the well in the middle is going to have to be the right size for the base of the cup. And we trim around the outer edge of the saucer and we're done. So let's take a look at handles. As I mentioned earlier, handles can be a little tricky particularly getting the right size and shape for a particular cup. So the first method I'm using is to roll a coil of clay. Now this is a very simple method. Once I've rolled a coil of clay, I just tamp it down on the table a little to flatten it out so it's not a perfectly round coil. This makes the handle a little more ergonomic. I cut it and put it over a rolling pin to allow it to shape and firm up a little. This is the clumsiest of the three methods I'm going to show you. The next method is to cut through clay with a wire cutting tool. You can make your own from wire from the top of your clay bag or you could use a trimming tool. There are specific uh, handle cutting tools that you can get. I'm just using a trimming tool here. And I'm just pushing it down into the clay and cutting a handle. The third method is the traditional way of pulling a handle. That is taking a carrot of clay and stretching it out into a long thin handle. I'll choose which handle I'm going to use later. So now I'm ready to trim the teacup. I'm just measuring with calipers so that the teacup fits into the well of the saucer. So I'm just trimming a very simple foot ring, a little on the outside and then trimming a little on the inside. And now I'm just smoothing the clay over to give the base of the teacup a nice finish. Similarly, trimming the saucer is a simple process. Starting in the center, trimming to the outer edge, making sure that it's concave, 
and then trimming a little on the outside. Once I've trimmed, I make sure to smooth and finish the surface if it's required. So I made my handles a little earlier and they've had time to firm up. I'm hoping that the moisture content is not too far off that of the teacup. So I play around a little with the handles. The rolled handle I'm not particularly fond of, it looks a bit clunky. So one of these cut handles look a little more elegant. The profile feels right for this cup. The pulled handle I made is a little too thick. So I'm just working out where I want the handle to go. It's important to actually check this while the cup is still on the saucer. Otherwise, you might attach the handle and find that the handle doesn't actually sit within the rim of the saucer. So now I'm just checking to make sure that the handle is going to sit uh, upright, as in not twisted on the cup. So I check that with a pin tool and then I start cutting the handle down to fit. Now that I feel that the handle is the right shape and the ends are the right profile for the teacup, I am going to scratch both the handle, the end of the handle, and the corresponding place on the teacup that it's going to join. So I'll just mark and then score the surface. So roughening the surface this way will allow the slip that I'm going to use between the handle and the cup to work its way into both surfaces and create a good bond. I'm adding plenty of slip the slip I've mixed from the same kind of clay and some water and now I'm just pressing the handle onto the cup and with my thumb I'm working the top of the handle into the body of the cup just blending with my thumb and then I push the handle down and press the base of the handle. I check to make sure that the handle's at a 90 degree angle and then I make sure that I firmly press the handle down so that it's really well blended. So I blend with my fingers and once I push down in the middle on each side I can give a little press so I really want to make sure that everything's really well joined so I'm just going to use a wooden tool to blend a little more finally I'm just going to check that the cup sits in the well of the saucer And here's the final cup with white glaze over the buff clay. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, comment and like below. And if you haven't already done so and you'd like to support this channel, click subscribe. It's much appreciated. Thanks and as always, happy potting.